Well, it's been a year since the deadly mass shooting at the old National Bank in downtown Louisville. The shooting claiming the lives of five and injuring eight others that night, including LMPD officer Nicholas Wilt. Well, now a year later, the memories and the pain of loss still lingers for many, including our own Governor Andy Bashir. ABC 36's Anna Medina takes us through a day of remembrance. Grief is tough. It's been one year since the city of Louisville was left reeling in pain after a deadly mass shooting at Old National Bank. Our lives were changed forever by a senseless, unthinkable, brutal act of violence that has certainly hit me and so many of you at your core. It shook this community and it shook our commonwealth. That's the day we lost Josh, Juliana, Jim, Deanna, and Tommy. Irreplaceable Kentuckians in Governor Andy Bashir's eyes. The shooting claiming the life of one of his dear friends, Tommy Elliott. I remember seeing David James and starting the question and him shaking his head. That's how I learned that I lost a really great friend. And then I remember doing one of the toughest things in my life, which is calling Marianne because she she deserved to know. In addition to the five that were killed that morning, eight others were injured, including Officer Corey Galloway and Officer Nicholas Wilt. Officer Wilt surviving a gunshot wound to the head. We talk about Officer Wilt, his bravery and his sacrifice rightfully a lot. But I want to mention Officer Galloway too. Charging into a hail of, of gunfire to save my friends. And had they not, gotten there when they had. I know the situation would have been much worse. The shooting happening during a morning meeting. Investigators say the alleged gunman Connor Sturgeon was killed after exchanging gunfire with police. A year later, advocates of the Kentucky chapter of Moms Demand Action say laws to help prevent gun violence have not changed. I think that we believe that we just need to get a new legislature. We need to find people that are interested in gun violence prevention and elect those people to work with our governor. I think that that's a um, big part of the problem is that the people that are there now are not that interested in this issue. Kathy Hobart of Moms Demand Action says the group will continue to work until the day where gun violence is no longer a problem. And it's not just all of us Moms Demand Action, it's all of us as a, as a community, as a culture that are gonna have to work together to, um, to just change this um, attitude that we have about accepting gun violence as a natural part of life. We don't have to live like this. Meantime, an emotional Governor Andy Bashir Certainly tested every part of me, including my faith, which I think I said a couple days later was shaken but not broken. And I continue to believe with all my heart that while the body is mortal, the soul is eternal. For ABC 36 News Now, I'm Anna Medina.